Over 60% of Uganda's urban population lives in slums, putting government in a deficit of more than 700,000 decent housing units for the surging population. Key among these is Kampala that has a deficit of 100,000 housing units. Faced with a standard occupancy of 4.8 persons per housing unit, close to half a million people are not adequately housed, as majority are squeezing with relatives and friends. Embedded in slums are the high poverty levels, crime rates, sexual exploitation, poor sanitation leading to disease outbreaks due to the poor housing conditions. Most people who live in the slum areas are not considered the government as key stakeholders. They are taken as beneficiaries but not partners of development. So in most cases when they are taking decisions, they don't consider them. It is true there are very, very, very many evictions and these evictions we get concerned they affect people's lives, they affect people's welfare and they even affect the image of government. This is blamed on government's poor planning that has not foreseen the high cost of living, that has seen encroachment on wetlands, leaving people at the mercy of floods and evictions. But Lands Urban Development Commissioner Samuel Mabala admits that Uganda is not prepared for the fast urbanization, which is moving at an abnormal rate of over 5%. Uh, we did not prepare and plan our cities for the population which has been coming in every other day. And you may realize that uh, the population rural to uh, urban migration is picking up. Ministry of Lands official Agnes Kalibala says that with the private-public partnership in progress, the country will be able to ensure better housing. The Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development has developed a national mass production housing program aimed at responding to the housing deficit of over 1.6 million units currently existing in Uganda, will be implemented through public-private partnership. Experts predict Kampala's housing deficit might hit 1 million by 2025, meaning that in 17 years' time, 4.8 million Kampala residents will be forced to either squeeze into other people's houses or sleep on the streets.